and welcome right. back to some more Shabadoo's baseball action up against their longtime nemesis, the Overdogs. Tell us about the history with the Overdogs, Ed. Well, as all Shabadoo's fans know, the Overdogs uh, knocked the Shabadoo's out of the second round of the playoffs last season. Um, in really crushing fashion, Kerry Woodward, one of the worst pitch pitchers in the league, absolutely shut down the Shabadoo bats. You can see Murray's already tense, getting overexcited, chasing a bad pitch. They're doing uh, Larry LeJoy in particular, I think, was a pitcher that they struggled with, despite the fact that he's also not great. He's up against the youngster, Baca Arbor. Had a, a pretty good first start. What do you mean rough? 284 ERA? I mean, what do you want from him? I was, because yeah, you didn't let me finish my fucking sentence. I was going to say a rough first season, but he's definitely developing in season since. Definitely got some promise in that, Mister. Look, that kind of talk was for the first game. This is the second game. You know, I think I think people, we've moved beyond the pain of last season. We're ready for the pain of this season. It sucked us on nearly. Just cranks it out of the park. And Murray showing a little bit of laziness. Instead of getting all the way under the ball, he just goes for a Willie Mays over to the shoulder catch. Yeah, Burgess is, is known for his showboating. The people on the team that are definitely not a fan of it, the pitching staff. We, we remember last time, Happy McCussell not very happy with Murray's effort out there in the center field. So well-documented rifts between the pitching staff and the rest of the team on the ship, Deuce. I mean, it's it's something that the, you know, the front office has got to be concerned about, especially with a young team. You want to build good culture and... Uh, you don't really build the, the foundations of good culture on hatred. Mutual hatred. Oh! Oh, but you build it on skull crushers like that one. LaJoy has got a lot of hatred built up after that one. And, <laughs> and he knocks he him straight dead. out of the game in the second inning. <laughs> that was a rough one right off the kisser. This brings in Rocket Ramon, and if you look at his forehead, it, it's just ripe for a beating, you have to say. I'm, I'm getting reports that, yes, indeed, LaJoy is in extreme pain, as they call it. That's the medical diagnosis. And according, just according to the script, Shabbat is followed up with a double play. Wouldn't have it any other way, Ed. Put your first DP sign hanging over the fence there. Let's field. see how many we'll get to on the day today. We should start keeping track. Oh, you know what we should have? We should have one of those, um... Uh, you know, uh, you often have those promotions that are like, if a team gets so-and-so hits or, you know, if scores the 100 points in a game, you get a free taco. In this case, if they get to 10 double plays, which is not possible <laughs> unless they go into extra, extra innings, <laughs> maybe we'll make it five. Five double plays and everyone gets a free taco? Is that what it is? Mm. I, I feel like there's potential here, but maybe we got to pick something that sort of rhymes or alliterates with double play. I'm not, I guess. Um, all oh, right, and Aromatis complaining of a, a glitch in the Matrix. Um, she's saying something about holograms and latency, and she throws that one right into the stance. That one is crushed right over Aromatis' head. She does not care enough to jump for that one. And Baca Arbor really not happy with his second baseman right now. But you know what they say if you got bad fielders, just throw throw better pitcher. And throw Guevara calls him off. What is she thinking after the earlier displays in this inning? Really He's showing some confidence there. a little there. too hard to make up for it. You can really see the spite in, in both Arbor and Guevara's eyes. He's get, getting something done on the mound, though. Rocket Ramon looking to exact some revenge here. Trying to go to Bloop Town, but Murray is all over that. Murray's like one of those police blockades. It's got detour signs ready to go, so sorry. Construction in Bloop Town today. You're going to have to take a detour, bud. What town's he going to instead? Can of Quarantine. I like it. <laughs> Thought you would. Got some great weak contact on that one, but... They got and he holds his breath as Aromatis inexplicably once again. And she has just gone rogue this game, hasn't she? She doesn't give a shit about what anyone thinks. <laughs> 
You know, I, I've heard that there's been some tension between her and the fielding coach, and it looks like she's intentionally going against everything that she's been taught. Fuckable slider, right to Porker. I feel like there's a joke there, but I don't know if we should go there. <laughs> Probably not, Matt. <laughs> oh, wow. Narwhal almost gets his head taken off by that one and goes for revenge, knocking one deep to center field. That's going to tie this game. You know, my mom always told me, Matt, you should never piss off a narwhal. That's what happens. You just get 469 all over you. Now batting, it's not how it went in my childhood, but <laughs> perhaps. And coming off the bat of what a great play from Sardi. I mean, I was in the middle of making a snarky comment. And he just shut me right up. Yeah. I, I felt like we were going to have a fake hustle comment there, but then Sardi showing some actual hustle and making a great play. Damn, yes. And, and Matisse trying to one up him, but she's just too damn slow and had no she chance. She one downs him. Well, you know, coming off of the, all that porker comment and the other things, the hitters this inning have been Aaron Goodwood, and now we have Dick Berger. Aromatis with the fake hustle again. Beautiful. Murray Burgess complaining of, of latency again. I, it's hard to know what he means by that, but uh, looks like it really got to him there as he inexplicably just overruns the... The ball rolling to him in the outfield. And Barca Arbor, you can just see the vein popping out of his forehead. He, he is just about fucking had it with this team. <laughs> and just over a Guevara's head. Great pitch by Barca Arbor, just sent to Blue Town anyway. Feels like there's nothing he can do right right now. And uh, the scorekeepers do fail to mark that one as an error on Burgess. He's really getting getting away with murder. And, a and really that's the double play ball we've been looking terrible for. Terrible decision by Maddox. Double play number two. <laughs> play number Three more two. and you get the free taco. Oh, that's a wild pitch. And runner goes to second. No problem. Cower had no chance there. A little bit of a wild pitch from Arbor. Oh, but he gets him on the frisbee. Waiting for it to reset. And, <laughs> and this is like every oh baby, the double. <laughs> and by a double, I mean a triple, of course. But you know the double. Oh oh, there's a chance. Oh and, what a throw! You'd think hitters by now would learn not to run on Apollo Narwhal. You can't That's, run at on least a the Narwhal. Third it's time like he's my mom always said. Narwhal gets a hold of that one, though. Can he clear and the center fielder? He does. His head. Man, he is just feeling it. But here's where that specialist comes in. The one lone lefty on the team, Aromatis Guevara. He's going to be struggling against this one. And she has been going through a rebellious streak this game, so there's no telling what she's going to do. She might try to bunt. Yeah, you can't just be telling everyone about the only the good things that happen to you, right? Like today, Mom, I struck struck out someone on a high inside curveball. Okay, but where'd you screw up? I didn't you screw know, up. Is, my fielders did. <laughs> it's like an Instagram filter or something. Give us the real story, Matt. Maybe that's what it should be. Five DPs to get a dick burger. Free dick burger. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the FCC is going to be on us if we go with that. They already are, Matt. True. Confusion in the outfield here. Narwhal makes a questionable catch there. There comes a point where you can tell that um, Arbor no longer holds his breath during the pop flies because he's just given up. He's come around to acceptance. If anything, it's more surprising that the rest of the pitching staff hasn't also given up. They will. In due time. Almost gets Song. And the high fastball. Ooh, and that's going to be a double there. play to get out of the jam. Very well done. Surprising is all we can say there, I think. 
Number seven. Pass oh, Porker. And some bad hustle by Porker there. Very much could have made a dive at that. Save the single. Decides to just let it through. And the reason why is because he knows Mattis is coming up. He knows a double play is coming anyway. <laughs> Almost certainly. Well, the Shepherds are just hoping for a pop up here. And they don't get it. Here it comes. Absolutely. That's double monster. play number three. Leads the league in double plays almost certainly. Boy, does he suck. Diego Bullock's going to come in to pinch hit for Baca Arbor. Does he have any chance of turning this inning into a productive one? Almost certainly not. I'd say no. It's looking like a game for Pax Lucero here. He, you can tell on his portrait, he just looks scared. I would too if I pitched for this team. Robin Yu, he was instrumental in the Shabadoo's collapse last season in the playoffs. Uh, Pax Lucero was not there for any of that, so, you know, he's got kind of a fresh slate here. Pax Lucero trying to put him away, getting him chasing, but Robin Yu not falling for it. That's just going to look Falls at a for that one. Changer. Last chance for the Shabadoos here. He's really mixing it up here. Burgess ready for that one, but he just cannot catch a break. Does manage to run it out, barely. Just gave it and Romatisse best. looking really weak up there. And she lines it to the shortstop for a beautiful double play. Number, it's number four, three. If, if only we had gotten four? one more. And we're here in the Swagger Center for game two of the double header between the Shabadoos. And the overdogs. Shabadoos showed very little life in the first game. Any reason to believe anything will change? Well, they're against Malia Castillo, who gives just a juicy meatball of a changeup, and Burgess just squanders it. Typical, typical fashion. So I'd say no. I'd expect a very similar result. Um, a lot of disappointment, frustration. And what a disappointing result there for Sardi. Just looking like a real chump out there. Yep, he worked hard to get that deep in the count and uh, happy McCussell instantly. Oh, struggles with that. Ooh, just misses the inside corner. Robin Yu just refusing to get the fuck out. Happy's getting a little pissed off. <laughs> I think I am too, Matt. Get the fuck out of here, Robin. What are you trying to do? What are you, what are you trying to prove? All Even that for this? The umpire's had enough giving him a generous call just to end that fucking yeah. at-bat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he had no choice, did he? Very bad batting average on the season so far. <clears throat> this should be an easy out. And he is just struggling. What was that? The timing is just incredible. <laughs> Literally, the ball was already in the air as you were finishing your sentence. And it looks like McCussell's turning to the commentating booth and says, Fuck you, you hexing bastards. I think that was directed at you, and he almost dies right there. He sees his life flash before his eyes. Many trips to the biker bar with all the barbecue instantly appear in his mind. And Hog Porker just continues his hot hitting streak. Going to third is Song, and he's not even close. See, it seems the other teams in the league are getting overconfident in the Shabadoo's bad fielding and just making really bad mistakes because of it. When you get thrown out by Murray Burgess, it's, it's not a good sign. It's a real shameful experience. That one's got some legs, but it dies at the end of the trajectory. That's going to nice put a hit. runner on second with one out. Now batting the left fielder. Which means clearly the strategy is to intentionally walk Mathis and then get the double play. And it looks like we've got an easy RBI single here. You know, I just remember, Matt, remember um, Abdil run it? 
he sucked. sucked. <laughs> he did suck. That's all I wanted to say about him. That's it. Oh, oh. the Shabadoo's catching a break there. It's the only way that Munster looking, can get on it was base. looking like a classic Shabadoo's liner. The short shot just straight up drops it. You know, Munster is actually hitting 500 if you are counting the probability that he hits into a double play. That's going to score another run. Happy McCuffle helping himself out because God knows the rest of the offense won't help him. It's, it's something you see very often with the pitchers on this team. They just they know they have to hit because they're screwed otherwise. And there's and the classic go. Shabadoo's double play. Absolutely. What a beauty. You know, I think earlier in the season I said every double play is a snowflake. I take that back. They're just about all the same, aren't they? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, wow. Ma Maddox Monster making a diving stab at it. It prevents. Just barely. But almost certainly would have been a double in the gap because God knows those outfielders are not fast enough to get that. Probably would have been a triple. And Narwhal goes, and it's actually going to prevent the double play. What a heads-up play from Paul Narwhal. Unusual. It's really just unfortunate timing. It almost... Well... If only that ball was just a couple inches over to the side, would have drilled the pitcher right in the face, and both would have gotten on. And Dalton Sard is furious because he just absolutely crushed that to left center field, but uh, he's being told that he was watching a false hologram, <laughs> and in fact it was just a strike. Boy, that's got to make you mad, huh? Looked right down the middle. You see it right on his face. He is pissed off. And he swings at a terrible one. He's pissed. He's he's lobbying the league for a redo. He had an easy double to the wall, but uh, is being told right, that it was all a lie. We, we've got a very quick instant message from the commissioner of the league. It says, fuck oh. you, no, no. <laughs> Sardy. And Norwell goes extremely late. He is screwed, and he's... And this is why the Shabadoos do not steal, folks, because uh, there's just an incredible lag between the <laughs> base running coach and the runners. The runners take some, it seems like a good two seconds before they actually start going. It's a real problem. Shabadoo is pulling back into this game, and a lack of hustle from Cherio there. Nothing fake about that lack of hustle. That was real. Strictly speaking, that doesn't really make sense when you say that, does it? I interpreted it as a hypothetical question. Sack song just looking completely ridiculous out there. We heard him say he knew it was going to be a curveball, but he just watches it anyway for a looking strikeout. I think looking actually like as the there. pitch came out of McCostle's hand, he said, curveball! And it looked like he was getting ready to crush it, and then he just watches it for strike three. One of the premier hitters in the league, too. That is very unusual. Well, it certainly explains why he's struggling early on in the season. Ocherio, whose interest in competing wanes greatly from, from game to game, seems to be on the low end this game. Uh, takes a couple terrible swings at some change-ups. But actually gets it to right field. He's going to have to hold Ocherio it first. thought about running to second on that one, but then realized he's slow as shit. <laughs> oh, we've got bad news, Matt. That's a pulled hamstring from Cherio. That probably explains why he didn't go to second. And oh boy, it looks like he's really hurt, isn't he? Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? And the Shabadoos are going to have to dig this deep is, into their oh, salary oh, This dump. is Cherio's second time on the injured list in the first ten games of the season. <laughs> really oh, looking no. like fools out there for making him the full-time first base. Is this the return of Bullock? It sure looks like it. Oh boy. The only sad thing is, it's already two outs, there's no double play possibility. But we can guess if it would have been, you know, and it wouldn't have been. So, you know, it's good. He didn't waste any double play opportunities. Bullock at first base. And, and uh, somehow, wow. just goes right through Dalton Sardi's legs there. Not really sure what the hell happened there. Nice strike call from a hustle there. Put some in the jar. And uh, McCustle definitely not doing it here. And inexplicably, Maddox, and that's a rookie mistake. He did not need to dive at all. Well, he saw that's what happened to Dalton runs. Sardi, and he didn't trust it. 
Well, it's interesting that he would generalize off a one in a 1,000 occurrence and decide that that's how he should figure out what to do for himself. I mean, the, the, the stats coach is going to have to talk to him about that one. Ooh. Happy McCuzzle, only member of this offense with any sort of consistency. Amazing to see from a pitcher. He looks really pissed, man. Four runs on him so far today. Probably none of them truly earned, even though two of them are going to count for earned. And just like that, what a terrible play from Burgess. As almost to get Happy McCuzzle back, I told you about that rift between the pitchers and the hitters. Just grounds out so that McCuzzle's out, and he stays on. Oh, Aromatis. Set with herself on that one. But not that one. High off the wall. Oh, and it bounces away from, oh, and that's from you. That's going to score a second run as well. Yep. Just like that. Back in it. <laughs> it's unusual to see actual life from the offense on the Shabadoos. Very strange. Great hit. That's and another that run. And you you got to think she's done. For the first time in a long time, the Shabadoos are actually in the lead in a game. But we're getting to the bottom of the order, so you expect this rally is just about over. Right up the middle, right, fucked her right between the legs. And this is going to be a close play at home here. It takes a wild bounce. Shabadoos score easily. I'm being told that we, we, by rule, cannot resume the game until we've got our exclamation legs in the chat. <laughs> Fuckable slider, you know the rule. Get fucked. And punishing him for the throw to third, gonna score another run. But oh, here oh. comes the end of the reality. It's Maddox Munster. Yeah, with runners on first and second, we are absolutely primed for a beautiful double play here from Munster. Sakta Song had a real rough game so far, but uh, this might undo a lot of that early roughness. And Literally off the Burgess. top of the wall. It might have gone off the top of Burgess's head there. It was tough to see. Log. And Aromatis just showing no effort whatsoever. I mean, it is just getting... They might consider For just the once, a base runner learned not to run on Apollo Narwhal. It's true. But I think the base runners are also learning. Just hit the ball to Aromatis Guevara, and we've got a pretty good shot. Dick Burger. Gets Dick Burgered. And he'll head back to the, to the field. We got real barn burner of a game here. Real dick burner of a game, and here's Burgess looking to undo some of his previous mistakes, and he does indeed. Puts that homer right back up on the board. He's not happy about Sakdasong one-upping him. Yeah, they've got a, a long-standing rivalry. They uh, competed against each other ever since their uh, travel days in, in grade school. A lot of fights between the parents in the stands. Very ugly. Tough to get quick innings with plays like that, Matt. Alex Monster deciding to just make sure that ball does not go into the outfield. It's almost like he's been taught he should field with his ribs instead of his glove. Here's an opportunity. Let's see if they can squander it. They don't. I am shocked. All in our while going, diving for one. Really bad decision there. Well, he is an Arwal, you know, so he has an affinity for scuba. Not uncommon to see him diving. What, what's his favorite place he's ever gone to? Uh, you know, I've talked to him about this before. He says Mexico is good, Cancun... Miami, um, but I think off the coast of Australia is where you find some of the more impressive and exotic creatures. Uh, some, of the, some of the deadliest jellyfish, you know, large groupers that can nearly swallow a person whole, not to mention the sharks. Bit of a surprise there. I would have thought he was a Great Barrier Reef kind of guy. Why? No particular reason, just the vibe he gives off. He's got Great Barrier Reef energy. 
whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> 18 hits with the Shabadoos in this game. They have hit the ball. And actually getting a respectable amount of runs for it for once. Straight to Bloop Town. Well, kind of. It's a they little have less stranded it's, 10. It's less than you'd like, but it's much better than the three or four they usually get out of this. And Sardi gets it through. Putting two runners on, but you know what this means. It's right around double play time for the Shabadoos. That's true. Oh, and it's the return of Smoke Copeland. He absolutely smoked the Shabadoos last game. And looks like on the way to a smoking, not only one. But there's still a man on second and only one out. We're, we're still on for the double play. It's uh, on third and first. Everything but second. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Couldn't be more wrong, Matt. It Couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> and here we go. That's a snowflake right there. Shabadoo is now up to 20 hits on the day. It's starting to... That only eight runs starting to get a little bit more shameful. A little bit. A little bit. The castle's starting to tire, but uh, frankly, he's... Um, looks Match, like the, the, the bench is trying to get him out, and he doesn't give a shit. He says, fuck you, I'm throwing. Fuck all y'all! The manager You're came out the game. to pull him and go to the bullpen. Happy, you just picked up the ball and threw it right as the right at the manager's face. They're afraid to come get him. <laughs> Understandable. He has that biker vibe. He is not a great barrier reef guy. Not hard to do, Matt. Not hard to do. And Maddox Monster oh, actually wow. gets one into Bloop Town. A rare sight for the rookie. Mojo's Ramon right down. I mean. Nothing can hurt more than and, and Mick Hustle waves off the coaches again. He insists on staying in. Look at him just chew his his chewing tobacco. He just doesn't care. He's hitting. And Rock Ramon is taking it back. He doesn't know what to do. A little intimidation from Mick Hustle there. Notice the, the outfield's back for Mick Hustle. I don't blame them. And there it is. Happy Mick Hustle. Showing off that honey badger energy, he just does not give a fuck. I like that. Wow. The worst one of the entire at bat. And you hate to see this. Base is loaded. And with, with only one out. One out. I, I can smell a double play coming. Ramon, Ramon really gets hit there. And indeed, and, walks home a run. Unbelievable. I mean, that is just a embarrassing. Display. And they're finally going to pull Rocket Ramon. And going to their starting rotation, Chris Porpita. And Sardi might send it to Bloop Town. Not quite. Happy McCussell really re resisting the manager, but the managers actually they're they're throwing punches on the mound, and Happy McCussell is gonna get thrown out of the game. So now they have to replace him. It's interesting. I saw that I saw that fight the other way, but <laughs> looks like he's gone. Buckles him a little bit on that high curveball. It's gonna mean Adventure easy. Time. Sardi almost it drops it. Should have been an easy pop out for Sardi. Almost screws it up. He baits them, making it look like he's gonna drop it and catches it at the last second. Really childish play from Sardi. Almost makes a great play there. Can't really fault him for that one. It's good effort. Some actual hustle from Sardi. You love to see it. And just a great low curveball just gets. Weakly hit into the gap anyway. And Aromatis is gone. She's taking off. <laughs> and Kesha Emin, another tiny foot. Bullets. Jams him on the inside slider for an easy out to end the game. And the Shavadoos continuing this trend of two game streaks. Win, win, loss, loss. Win, win, loss, loss. We're right back on win. Let's see if they can keep and it up in the next game. And they hit nearly 500 for the game. Uh, just a stunning amount of hits for only nine runs. Strand 13.